to round three of Battleship. Bradford, why don't you give us a recap on round two? So round two is finished and we have a winner. Who's the winner? So uh, it was the breakaway, if you remember, Norwegian breakaway against the MSC Seaside. A little bit closer race than the last time, but the breakaway is the winner with 54% of the vote and the Seaside getting uh, 46%. Well, thank you for the recap, honey. Yeah, we want to thank everybody for voting. Yes, and coming Oops. back to our channel and participating in our Battleship series. Yep. So let's get on with it. Right, so now we're going to have round three. And who will be in round three? So round three, we have the Ruby Princess versus that damn ship. <laughs> the Holland. The Holland America Eurodam. Exactly. With similar itineraries, which we will go over with in more detail. Actually, these are strikingly similar itineraries. Almost port for port. All right. Let's start with, I'll take the ruby. It's jewelry. <laughs> Figures. Yep. She's going to take the jewelry ship. And both of She's these. She's going to take that damn ship. No. Uh-uh. I'm going to take the damn ship. Yep. You're, You're taking the jewelry ship. I'm taking the jewelry ship. All right. Now comparing our ship facts. Before we do anything else, let's start with a Ruby Princess. The year built is 2007 2008. Maiden voyage was November 8th, 2008. Tonnage is 113,000 gross tons. Length is 951 feet. Beam, or the width, is 118 feet. Draft, 27 feet, that's the amount of space below, or how it sits below the water. Decks are 19, passengers are 3,080, and crew is 1,200. Now the facts for the Eurodam. The Eurodam was built in 2007 and 2008. She made her maiden voyage on July 5th, 2008. She comes in at 86,273 gross tons, has a length of 935 feet a beam of 106 feet, a draft of 26 feet, has 11 decks, holds 2,104 passengers, and has a crew of 929. Both of them are going to Alaska. So we're going to compare the Alaska itinerary. Yeah, so both of these particular cruise lines are kind of recognized as the top yep. two cruise lines for um, Alaskan cruises. Uh, Princess and Holland America, so we thought it'd be a good comparison to compare these two. Both are a seven-day Alaska cruise departing out of Seattle, Washington on June 6, 2020. The itinerary for the Ruby Princess is Juneau, Alaska, Skagway, Alaska, Ketchikan, Alaska, and Victoria, British Columbia. Bradford, what is the Eurodam going on? So the Eurodam is going on a strikingly similar itinerary. It is also stopping in Juneau, Alaska. It will stop in Sitka, Alaska, Ketchikan, Alaska as well, and then finishing in Victoria, British Columbia, just like the Ruby Princess jewelry ship. Exactly, the jewelry ship. <laughs> Starting with the fares for both ships, the Ruby Princess, the interior cabin is $889, the ocean view cabin is $996, the balcony cabin coming in at $1,639, and a suite $2,089. Prices for Alaska are high. A little bit. Yes. Right, so the fares for the Eurodam interior cabin $1,049, an ocean view cabin, $1,229, a balcony, $1,599, and a suite, $2,229, and of course, this is all based on double occupancy Correct. Uh, in each cabin. Now we're moving on to the alcoholic drink packages for both ships. I'm gonna start with the Ruby Princess and lucky me, they have one alcoholic drink package. If you remember the last awesome. one. Awesome. <laughs> the last one had a lot. So they call this the Premier Package, and it's $59.99 per person per day with an 18% gratuity. The package includes all beer, spirits, wine by the glass, and cocktails, $12 and under, as listed on the menu. 
The package also includes all bottled water, 500 milliliters only, fountain soda, fruit juices if available, specialty coffees and teas, gong cha items, frappes at coffee and cones, milkshakes if available, and Red Bull energy drinks. The package provides a 25% discount on the following excluded items, all bottles of wine, one liter bottles of water, canned soda, and bottled juices. The package may be used on or their private islands, all food and beverage venues, and other areas such as the theater or public spaces that offer beverage services. If dining at a specialty dining venue, a large bottle of water, one liter of still or sparkling is covered by the package. Whew. Now moving on to the Holland America drink packages, because there's two of them. Two of them. That's right. The first one is called the Signature Package, and it is $54.95 per person per day, plus a 15% gratuity. And what it includes are premium beers, spirits, cocktails, and wines by the glass that are priced $11 and under. It also includes an unlimited variety of premium coffees, such as espresso and cappuccino, juices, Coca-Cola products, and then their signature mocktails, Red Bull, and bottled waters 500 milliliters and under. Now on to Holland America's second drink package, which is known as their Elite Package. $59.95 per person per day, plus a 15% gratuity. It also includes premium beer, spirits, and cocktails and wines by the glass, but these are $15 and under, and includes their Dale DeGroff Original Cocktails. It also includes an unlimited variety of premium coffees such as espresso and cappuccino, juices, Coca-Cola products, the signature mocktails, Red Bull, and bottled waters under 500 milliliters. Now moving on to the non-alcoholic drink packages, and Princess has two. The first one being their premier coffee and soda package, costing $19.99 per person per day, plus an 18% gratuity. The package includes all specialty or premium coffees and teas, hot chocolate, fountain sodas, fresh juices if available, gong chai items if available, frappes at coffee and cones, mocktails and smoothies as per the menu, Red Bull and milkshakes if available. Also includes one souvenir tumbler based on availability while supplies last and provides a 25% discount on the following excluded items. Bottles of water of any size, canned items such as soda or bottled juices if available. The next non-alcoholic drink package for Princess is called their Classic Soda Package. The cost is $9.99 per person per day plus an 18% gratuity. The package includes all fountain sodas, fresh juices if available, mocktails and smoothies as per the menu. Also includes one souvenir tumbler based on availability and while supplies last. Now moving on to the Eurodam's non-alcoholic packages and they also have two of them. The first one is called the Quench Package. Cost is $17.95 per person per day, plus a 15% gratuity, and what it includes are a variety of premium coffees such as espresso and cappuccino, juices, Coca-Cola products, the signature mocktails, Red Bull, and bottled waters, 500 milliliters and under. Their second package is called the Coca-Cola Package, $8 per person per day, plus a 15% gratuity, and what it includes are just unlimited fountain sodas. Now moving on to the fun stuff, bars and lounges. Starting with the Ruby Princess. Ruby Princess has 13 bars and lounges, starting with the Wheelhouse Bar, Crooner's Bar, the Piazza Atrium Bar, Vines Wine Bar, Outrigger Bar, Trade Winds Bar, Calypso Bar, which is the pool bar, Mermaid's Tail, which is also another pool bar, Adagio, which is the piano bar, Speakeasy Cigar Lounge, Casino Bar, Club yeah. Fusion, Explorer's Lounge. Now moving on to the Eurodams Bars and Lounges. It also has 13. Go figure. They that, all have 13. They all have 13. It seems. And their bars and lounges are called the Ocean Bar, the Explorer's Lounge, 
I wonder if they stole that from Princess. Yeah. The Pinnacle Bar, the Silk Den, the Gallery Bar, the Atrium Bar, the Lido Bar, which is one of their pool bars, the Sea View Bar, which is another one of their pool bars, the Sports Bar, the Piano Bar, the Queen's Lounge, the Casino Bar, and Neptune Lounge. Now we're into activities and entertainment. And on the Ruby Princess, these are the things that you can find. Four pools called the Calypso, Neptune, Lotus, and Terrace with seven hot tubs. Mini golf, sports court, which is basketball and volleyball, table tennis, shuffleboard, jogging track, fitness center, day spa, the sanctuary, which is the adults only area. Additional fees do apply. Also, we have the Broadway and Las Vegas style shows. We have the bingo and other games, nightclub, which is at Skywalkers. You have karaoke, trivia, piano bar at Audiano's, casino, arcade, live music, and movies under the stars. Now on to the Eurodams activities and entertainment. And they have two pools, the Lido and the Seaview pool with five hot tubs. They also have a sports court with basketball and volleyball, table tennis, shuffleboard, fitness center, a day spa, Broadway and Las Vegas style shows, bingo and other games, billboard on board, which is specific to Holland America. It's a lot of live music, karaoke, trivia, a piano bar, BB King Blues Club, a casino, an arcade, and movie screenings in a movie theater. So now we're going to move on to shopping, and this is pretty much going to be the same every time because yes, there's, there's no specifics. There's no specifics on really on shopping on the ship. So as I've said before, both ships have a huge variety of shops containing fashion, jewelry, fragrances, gifts, and souvenirs, general sundries, as well as a photo gallery and shop. Any questions? None. Perfect. All right. Now on to the exciting stuff. And I don't know why it's it's exciting for me and it's exciting for a lot of people is the dining options on cruise ships. Food. I mean, it's the food. Come on. Food. So we're going to be talking about the included dining right for uh, both ships. And right now for the Ruby Princess, we've got the main dining rooms, which are Michelangelo, Da Vinci, and Botticelli. So an Italian theme going there. International Cafe, which is open 24 hours. The Horizon Court, which is the buffet. The Salty Dog Grill, burgers, dogs, and tacos. Slice Pizzeria, pizza, calzones, and stromboli. Coffee and cones, our cones are complimentary. Specialty ice creams and coffees are additional fee. Room service, charges apply on select menu items. Yes, and now on to the Holland America Eurodam. Their included dining includes the main dining room, which uh, appropriately enough is called the dining room. That was a stretch. Yep. <laughs> they have their buffet is called the Lido Market. Uh, they have a, a dining venue called Dive In, which is burgers and dogs. New York Pizza, which is pizza and salads. And then they also have room service where charges do apply on select menu items. Okay, rounding up our final category, which is specialty dining. This is dining at an extra charge, starting with the Ruby Princess. Share by Curtis Stone, a unique six course fine dining experience, which is $29 per person. Crown Grill, which is a steakhouse, $29 per person. The Salty Dog Gastro Pub, pub food, which is $12 per person. Crab Shack Seafood, $29 per person. They also offer a chef's table at $95 per person. And Ultimate Balcony Dining, dinner is $50 per person and breakfast is $45 per person. All right, so now on to Holland America's specialty dining. And what you get there is they have a steakhouse called the Pinnacle Grill, which is $39 per person. They have an Italian restaurant called Canaletto, $19 per person. They have an Asian themed restaurant called Tamarind at $25 per person. And then they have Explorations Cafe, which is coffee and pastries. And that is an a la carte menu. Meaning it has, it's, it's fees for each item. Each individual item. Yes. Correct. 
So, that is Battleship Round 3. Ruby Princess against Holland America Eurodam. That damn ship. So, up in the corner, you'll find an i-card where you can vote. If you don't see it, please let us know, but it is there. It is there. If you don't see it, just kind of mouse over the top. Yes. Uh, left-hand corner, right, right hand. hand corner, sorry, right, right hand. hand corner, sorry, the right hand corner, um, and it, it should pop up. So, um, as always, if you enjoy these videos, if you enjoy this channel, please hit that subscribe button. We're still working our way to those thousand subscribers where we're going to yes. be giving away the big cruise prize pack with the uh, Osmo uh, Pocket camera. DJ Pocket Camera or yeah. DJ Osmo. DJI Osmo Pocket Camera. Well, camera. consider subscribing and joining this crazy crew. We For have sure. lots of fun. Hey, if um, don't forget to check out our Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts. Yeah, and uh, also 20 days. 20 days, counting down to our next cruise, yep, which our, is so exciting. Yeah, and actually it's going to be on Princess. So. Things are flying by. Brad's doing a lot of traveling for work, so we're trying to get out as many videos as we can, but we are impacted by his work schedule. So, so Being, things might be a little bit slower over the next few weeks up yes. until the cruise because I'm going to be traveling for at least the next three and he, weeks. He's all technical, so he's my tech technician, and if it he can't do it, nobody can. <laughs> Because I'm not versed. <laughs> That's right. So for now, we'll see you next time. I'm Brad. I'm Kimberly, and we're, we're Midlife Crazy. Crazy. Bye. Bye.